Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Seacoden and we are playing Always Sometimes Monsters. Uh, last time we left off, we needed to... Uh, see, she won't even let me leave. We, uh, we decided to take a bet on a car race, but we have to repair the car. Oh, am I in my way? Sorry about that, Omelette. I was just feeding Trinity for Mark. Here, let me get out of your way. Oh, gee, thanks. Did you think about what we talked about yesterday at all? You mean cutting Stan's brakes? Oh, well, yeah. I won't pursue it if you don't think it's a good idea, but it's the fastest way out of this mess. I know Mark probably wouldn't approve, but I just don't want to see you get hurt behind the wheel. I don't know what you'd do if something happened to you. If anyone should be in danger, it's that sleazeball. It certainly does simplify things for us, I suppose. What do you say, shall we go and tip the scales in our favor or not? I've got 11 days before I gotta be in San Verdano. I've still got three parts left to get before a car will be ready to race, too. Considering all that, maybe it's not such a crazy idea. Ah, uh, so what is the plan? I go pay Stan a visit in his garage and lure him out of the shop for a while. Meanwhile, you sneak in there and snip the brakes on his car. Then there's no way you'll lose to him in the big race. It's the least risky option and it saves us a ton of time. Alright, I know what you're saying now. Uh, not today. I've still got time to do things honestly. If you change your mind, come see me before I leave work. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna try to do this the old-fashioned way. Honesty is always better than cheating, but on like the way that life has been working for me, we'll, we'll just have to find out. All right, let's go see about some tires. Is there a guy here I can talk about for some tires? Door is locked. Somewhere around here has got to be a uh, figure too. Who knows where? Maybe. I'm assuming it's this guy up here on the. Is there anybody to talk to in this place? Yeah, let's see. If... You look like you could use a little help in the ring. Why don't you take my old boxing rule book and go study hard in a corner? Then become a champion and defeat my arch enemy Brandon and Edie by standing around. The angry man gave you a boxing rule book. So angry. Count it out for me, would ya? Uh, sorry. From five, muffin top, let's go. Five. Oh uh, yeah, feel the burn. Four. Come on, come on, baby. Three. That's the stuff, that's the ticket. Uh, two. Oh, it's getting nervy. One. Oh, my back. Shit, spy me. Shit, what do I know? Someone help. I got this. I am muscle man. Let's do it slow. Let it down easy. Whew. Thanks for that, yo. Next time, I'll get it for sure. Right, well, welcome to the Big Dog Boxing Club. I'm the owner here. You can call me Darren. Right, I'm on it. So, what can I help you with? I was told you might have some spare tires kicking around here. I'm looking to get a hold of a full set for my friend's car. Yeah, I've got the tires. I've got tires galore. Maybe I could give you a couple, maybe not. I guess it all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you've got what it takes to cut it with the Big Dog Boxing Club. We're a clan of warriors, you know, fighters to the core. I like what I see in you, but if you want my help, you gotta become one of us. Alright, how do I do that? By mastering the sweet science and besting my crew in the ring. You want me to fight you guys? No, of course not. What sort of uncivilized brutes do you take us for? You gotta beat us at the refined art of Big Dog Combo Boxing. You're crazy. I'm going to get pulverized. Maybe? I don't know. I've got a good feeling about you, though, so don't sweat it. Alright, well, I was planning on keeping all my teeth today, so maybe later? Well, it's the only way you're walking out of here with my prized tires. Tell you what, though. If you're serious about it, I'll give you a free lesson. It won't take a minute, and who knows, maybe you'll enjoy it. You want to teach me how to fight. Alright, let's do it. Let's do this, guys. We're up for it. I'll see you in the ring.
Alright buddy, what can we do here? So you ready to start earning your stripes here or tires in your case? I need the whole set, what's it gonna take? Well simply step in the ring and for every one of the crew you beat, I'll give you a tire. Once you're in there, you're only leaving one of two ways, as a champion or you're on a stretcher. Seems a little severe. Don't worry, we've got top notch infirmary if you bonk too hard. We'll get you tired and sore but not dead. Sounds great, can't wait to die. Oh, there's Jib Jab, Jabroni, and Heavy Hand Harvey. Then we've got Gorilla Galliano, and finally Balls Out Bennett. Alright, guys, with nicknames. That sounds really fair. Hey, life ain't about what's fair and what's not. If someone starts causing you trouble out there in the real world, fair is the last thing you want. If you're really not up to challenge, the door's right over there. I'll just get ready to throw down, and uh, let's do what we gotta do. Ready to get in the ring, take on Jib Jab Jabroni. Keep your body swinging to the left and he'll rarely clip you. Focus on and build a strategy. Everything will go your way. Ah, uh, quit wasting my time, would ya? Come see me when you're serious. You ready to get in the ring with Jib Jab Jabroni? He talks big game, but that ain't where he where the nickname comes from. Focus and build a strategy. See if there's any other hints here. Keep your body swinging to the left, and he'll rarely clip you. Because left dodges jabs, and that means I should be doing crosses. All right, let's fight. Alright, let's see here. Crosses beat jabs. And then left dodges jabs and crosses. Yeah, pretty much you can get through this one just by hitting enter, mostly. Balls out's down. He did it, Ace. 
Came in, nobody, you're a bulldozer. Four fighters up and you knocked them all down. God. As promised, you can have the tires you need. I'll run over stands. Small town, huh? Hey, never urge to throw them down again. No thanks. Awesome. Tires are done. Darren said the tires would be delivered to Stan's garage. I better go meet Mark there now and get them installed. And that guy should be hanging around here somewhere. There he is. Howdy! 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 Nah. I guess he's not coming. How are we looking food-wise? Nah, our stamina isn't as bad as when we got knocked out, so that's a good sign. Alright. <laughs> I'm surprised this stuff hasn't gone bad yet. Which is good. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Bum bum bum, I went the wrong way again, yay for me! This took longer than I wanted it to. You guys probably won't notice it because of movie magic, but... <laughs> uh, I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. Alright, so what's left to get done before it's good to race? There's still the sticky gear shifter that needs some cleaning supplies. James not by the gas station might be able to help you with that. There's a matter of suspension upgrade. That fellow Grafton in the trailer park ought to be able to help. I'll see you what I do tomorrow. I tell ya, you got this baby right in the rain. You mind you ask you something? It's for my own sake and I don't mean nothing by it. I just want to know, what do you believe in? I mean the big picture yourself, you know? You skipped out on coming to church and whatnot, so I got curious. What's a person like you believe in anyways? I believe in myself. Maybe it sounds a little narcissistic, but it's all I can really believe in. I reckon, therefore I is. I heard that one before, I know what you're talking about. It's just, I know that I'm the one thing I can be certain of. That's where I put my faith. Well, let me ask you this then. What do you have to be certain of something to believe in? For me, a big part of faith is knowing I can prove something real. Why do I believe in what I know to be certain? Honestly, it's the only rational thing to do. Having faith in the known is the only thing that makes sense at the end of the day. Sounds like a bit of a copped out to me. <laughs> I mean, it's a heck of a lot easier believing in something you know is real instead of something you hope is. That difficulty is what makes it all worthwhile. That struggle makes it real. Anyway, just a question is all. I get curious, my the sort of person turned you out to be and blah blah blah. Can't stand disappointed yet. Come on, let's get out of here before your fat head decides to take our shit and rape us in the backyard. We're down to like our last ten days. This is getting really rough. It's getting really, really close, man. I thought I had a lot of time left. And just doing stupid jobs to make enough money to eat has been hurting. I wonder if I could have been here a lot earlier, though, if it weren't for that stupid election, if I would have figured out that I could have done it earlier. I don't know if that's true or not, but maybe. Alright, guys. Uh, we got the first piece. One out of the three pieces we need for the car. We're not desperate enough to use the sexy girl for anything, so... Let's hope it stays that way. She's probably going to be here again. Yep, there she is, waiting for me, waiting to see if she can get on with him or not. Ah, well. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hopefully I edited this well enough so you don't fall asleep. Um, okay, I guess I'll see you in the next video. See ya!